Hello everyone, Juicebags here, and welcome back to the Techno Farm with the Virtue Mod Pack for Minecraft 1.6.4. Done a little bit more work on the farm, still got a long ways to go. Had a bit of a tough work schedule here these last couple of weeks. But as you see, I've got both of my essence fields automated now, so we're getting plenty of essence collected up. And I did add in some more manual farming zones. See, we got the iron going over here. We got some glowstone got some gold and then I threw some redstone in right down below now um, my original plan with the techno farm was to actually spread way out and put farms uh, 11 by 11 farms such as this size just about everywhere I could I've had a little bit of a change of heart and instead I think I want to put in I want to go up instead of out so I believe I'm going to add some lighting and another farm right above this one and then perhaps even another farm right above that one as I've got this nice uh, large area leveled out now and uh, illuminating it won't be a problem. So we should be able to build out a very nice little automated crop farm. Uh, before we get going on that today though I wanted to get out and check out one of the roguelike dungeons. Now I saw it in my first episode. We saw the balloons there and then it's not loading off in the distance but it is indeed there. There is a roguelike dungeon just right over this way. So oh, there it is right there. I'm gonna get up there. I actually got up in there once before and just got my butt kicked. So um, I bailed out I'm going to get back up in there and see uh, see if I can able to, you know, am able to get anything farmed up. But here we go. We've got the uh, lovely little water elevator to get up in there since I don't have the ability to fly quite yet. So let's go ahead and head on up and see what we run into. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm not the best equipped right now. I do have a set of diamond armor, but that is about it. I've got kind of crappy weapons right at the moment and there's a big gold throne right at the entrance of it and uh that was very very whoa, 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 whoa. very tempting i started hammering on that gold throne and that is when the ass kicking commenced and i just got beat down so let's see there is the throne room it actually looks like the bottom dropped out is what happened I started taking, this was a throne here, I started getting some of this gold ore collected up and the bottom of the dungeon dropped right out from under me. There's a diamond block down there and then there's a spawner. Uh, skeletons are already shooting at me. I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get down in there. A diamond block right there, how awesome is that? See, that's a zombie. That's a standard issue zombie, though. Those guys actually that are down there now should not be too tough to take out. We do have uh, a tough guy here, however. Oh, no, he wasn't bad. So let's see. What do we have over here? We have an alternate route in. Now it looks like we've got uh, just some more farm zones. There's a baby. I'm afraid to just jump right down in there as I I just have a feeling I will get beat down mercilessly. Should I go for it? Now there's a big hole. I'm assuming that's a drop down to the surface. And ooh, ooh, what do we have over here? Rare twin lived. Badass. I think I'm going to try to stay away from him. In fact, let's just go down here and see see if we can clear this out holy crap there's just too many too many indeed oh my weapon is gone I'm bailing ba bam that's the beauty of it is uh, I can get the hell out of there right through the bottom pretty darn quickly so I'm gonna have to better equip myself before I go up in there I'm not quite ready for it because I know there is several boss mobs up in that bad boy but there's a quick look at uh, what the roguelike dungeons can bring that thing looks pretty tough 
I'm definitely excited to get up in there and check it out, but I lost my, my weapon already. And, um, you know, obviously things did not go well for me. So let's get back over here to the mainland. I'm going to forget about that place for the moment until I get myself, uh, you know, a nano suit or, or whatever, until I get myself geared out enough where I can go in and take those guys out without any issue. So let's head on back. Crash landing. Ba bam. Did I lose anything? No, doesn't look like it. Let's grab some more fish out of here. I'm sure the fish are... Oh, wow, are those guys coming? Or no, those are squid. The fish are stacking up a bit, so let me grab uh, some more fish. Get the yummies all cooked up. And I'm um, excited to get this thing built up. I need to do... I need to get more crops going, clearly. And uh, to do that, I'm going to need to get to the next, the next tier... in magical crops. So let's go ahead and get that done. Clear up, free up some of this uh, inventory space here. Where is my furnace? Well, there we go. Get some fishes cooked up. And dump off the rest of this stuff. There we go, looking good. The hunger is burning down quick. So, uh, obviously I need to keep full on the fishes. And before we continue on, let's get a little daylight here. Go down and take a quick nap. I still haven't done anything down below here yet either, which, um... You know, obviously I need to do some work. I think I'm actually going to put my... Once I get uh, some auto-crafting for the ME network in play, I'm going to put that right in the basement right here. I'm going to clear out a little area. So got a little work to do there yet. And let's see. So we've got the regular and the weak infusion stone. I think I may have... Uh, or yeah, I dumped my strong infusion stone by accident into my network. So, we've got the strong infusion stone. What comes next? The extreme infusion stone. Uh, to do that, we're going to need some iron essence, which we're going to have plenty of that out there. And our strong infusion stone, or gold essence. Blaze essence, ender essence. I think we'll have plenty of... Uh, we've got plenty of gold and iron right here, so why don't we go... Why don't we go with some gold essence? This, of course, uh, is still a, a manual farming zone. Don't have it automated yet, but we do uh, have the chance of getting additional uh, seeds and essences by coming and picking these boy bad boys manually. So that'll be more than enough gold essence to get that uh, that next tier of stone. In fact, maybe. I'm not sure, or no, I'm not going to be able to max it out yet. There we go, get those crops replanted. And away we go. So, the Master Infusion Stone. That requires the Diamond Essence. I guess I could get some Diamond Crops going. I could get rid of some of that Redstone, perhaps. But let's get the extreme infusion stone made for now. So, we need, we want the strong infusion stone in the middle. Gold essence. And there we go, extreme infusion stone. Oh, I just made ten of them. God damn it. That was a waste. That's alright, It's what's done is done. So, yep, I've got the weak, I've got the regular, and I've got the extreme. So to make the, I think we can maybe do, can we do diamond seeds? I'm not sure, let's see. Let 
What the heck? Seeds. Where is the diamond? That's got to be it. So we're going to need some extreme essence. Four diamonds and a regular seed. To make the extreme essence, we need strong essence and the extreme stone. Do I have any strong essence? I've got a shitload of essence. Ooh, I do have some strong essence, so we're set there. And I know I've got seed. Yeah, we've got some regular seeds here. All I have to do is really make one seed, and we can build it out from there. But let's see. So I've got the diamonds, I've got the essence. I actually have enough diamonds, I think, to make an additional. Now, why is that bad boy not working? Extre oh, I need to make the extreme essence stones first. Derp. So let's put the extreme infusion stones. And then, am I going to have enough? Well, dang it. No, nope, I'm not going to have enough. I'm only going to have enough to make make three. Er, no, actually, I did make four. Fantastic. So let's see. We need four, one seed, one diamond. Let's get the extreme essence going here. And there we go. Diamond seed. Awesome. So let's come over. I don't want to uh, go to where this is automated. I've got my watering can handy. I can actually just do it right here. I'll do it right here where this gold crop is. Just to get uh, these seeds duplicated. Get that watering can going on. And see if I can collect some uh, some additional diamond seeds. Let's see how many did I get. Nope, I just got the one. But that is alright, because I can keep doing the same thing. And eventually, I'm going to get lucky and get some additional seed drops. Of course, once you get... You know, the more you have, the easier it is they are to duplicate. So if you get one seed down and then two seeds and then three seeds and so on and so on, you eventually, very, very quickly, will get yourself up to uh, a maximum amount of seeds. As you see with my automated setup with the essence seeds, I've got those planters completely full, so the essence seeds are just spitting out. But there is the start of the diamond crop. And uh, there we go. We got two seeds now, so we got a little little bonus on that one, and so on and so on. Of course, every chance there, or every time you farm it, there's a chance you're going to get an additional seed. So, and now we've got four. So we're we'll get this ramped up very very quickly. I'm just going to throw these guys here for now and uh, let them get to growing. But that's going to do it for this episode of the techno farm and uh, definitely some more coming soon i love this mod i love magical crops it's so much fun and uh has so much possibility and it gives you a little uh little variation versus the the usual just slapping down quarries and such but um very very awesome so thanks again for watching click that like button please subscribe to the channel and we'll see you soon for some more techno farm with the virtue mod pack from kessel caden Thanks again.